Mrs. Botty Cheeks. There it thank goes. You. There it goes. Now it's welcome to part two. Welcome we'll to part two. I've never yes. had a complaint about Mr. and Mrs. Botty Cheek. <laughs> I just wanted to say that again. It's in case it got off. That, yeah. was, that was hilarious. Um, so then he start, He gets all dressed up and starts making his way down, walking down to the Ritz, starling. He sees himself in the window. Like, oh, cravats! So, Mr. and Mrs. Brown are in the house now, because this is the scene you see in the trailer where um, when this is breaking into nonsense, we haven't broken anything yet. Smash! <laughs> <laughs> breaks the, yeah, it breaks the bones. And um, so, because they all they all got together and broke it, and then she, he, he wasn't... He then, and they... She's like... Oh, the carpet! He says, yes, I'll order a swatch. No, no, she's she indentation, so she's like, give me a lift. So he um, gets the roof and like opens up the thing. It's like, it's a, it's an, it's a secret room. It's an attic. Everyone's going to it's a secret attic because it is completely smooth. You don't realise it's yeah, there. No, you don't. And, um, so Mrs. Brown climbs up, goes into the attic, and Mr. Brown goes, Oh, for goodness sake, follows her up there. <laughs> this <laughs> guy's completely, he's normal, he's completely, <laughs> he goes, he's a weirdo! This guy, he's not done anything wrong, oh my god, he's a weirdo! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. He sees all of his costumes that and his characters. Eating chicken wings. Nice. <laughs> Check out their channel. <laughs> um, yeah, I that was funny. my title. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so he then he realizes that he's he's a weirdo because <laughs> he's got all these characters. So they do the they do the thing where he come they hear him come back into the building and instead of going fully into the attic. I know, they yeah, come, they, they, they go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. What's, no, just hide in the attic. He's not going to come into the attic, is he? He's he just does. Just, yeah, he just, just hide. So obviously he 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 hears the noise. He's like. Mr. Brown? <laughs> like, oh yes, uh, well, as, as our Platinum um, member, because they discover he's like, um, skin. He's yes. like, why would he be in that? He, he's a millionaire. How much did he spend on face cream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, so he's got a couple of bills. Oh my god, he spends a lot of money on face cream. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're doing, and, and so they, he's like, oh well, as, as a Platinum member, of course, we, we egg you have you know, we come round once a year and do a, it's in a security check. Yeah. In your pajamas? <laughs> Yes. With your wife? Oh, yep, yep, the windows. This is, this yeah, is pulls good. the curtain and she's like, yeah, that looks good. Oh, hello, Mr. Buchanan. We well, we, yes, yeah, so we're, we're a little short hand and she likes to help me out again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway, everything's. He goes, oh, well, that all sounds plausible. Does it? <laughs> does it? Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes, 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 it does, yes. <laughs> so he's, he's just like, oh, let's him go. And he's like, he does have a moment where he's like, <gasps> chicks up, goes upstairs, the book's still there. Yeah. So he's like, okay. Yeah, so, oh. so he doesn't really think much more on it, on it. but yeah, that, so that was funny. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> just, just great scene with great actors. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, and so they're doing all this investigating, running around. They they take all the pictures to the Met, the Met Pole, mm. and they're like, they's like, look, I'm sorry, unless there's you get the book with his fingerprints on it, you've got no case. I'm like, what, what case did you have? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he was there. Yeah. Very circumstantial. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. so um, they suddenly realise <gasps> we've missed visiting time. Cut to sad scene. Yeah, and he's sitting there in the little window. This big one. Just Paddington just on his own. <gasps> yeah. Starting to believe now that they've forgotten about him. Yeah. And they do a scene where he's like crying. Like the, the tear drops down his nose. Which great animation. Yeah, really good. Beautiful. Follows it down into the crack and then you see the seedling grow up. Mm. It's like I don't know if he's fallen asleep or what, but then he's this whole sequence where he's like, Oh I'm losing I'm so sorry, I've got no home to go to. Yeah, his prison cell turns into it blooms with loads of plants and foliage. Beautiful sequence. The animation on this film really is stunning. Yeah, and it, it turns into a Peruvian jungle where he meets with Aunt Lucy. Yeah. Um, and she tells him to whatever she tells him. Yeah, tells him, give him go good forth advice. and prosper. <laughs> yeah. Like um but yeah. So he, he obviously turns around, he's still in this cell and it's like, oh sad. And then so the gang are like, well, I mean. <laughs> yeah, so they're all planning this uh, breakout. Uh, and uh, yeah, Paddington, they knock on his, like, on the pipes. So they knock on his pipe and he unscrew the little thing and they can all speak through the pipe from cell to cell. Yeah. And they said, so what's going on, Bear? Uh, we're uh, breaking out at midnight, are you in? I'm in. So he cuts the guard in his thing and he's like, what, you know what, knock off early today, they've all been good as gold recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it cuts that really, really nice scene where it, it, the camera pans over away from the guard as he's going down the stairs to the front of the prison and it opens up like, like a model. House. Yeah, like a model, so he's got a model so on his good. desk. And it's like, lights out, they all go down and then you can see it into them. And yeah, all inside like, all the cells from like completely front on, that was that was really good, I like that. Yeah, and then, um, so you see them. And originally I was a bit confused because you basically go down a hole in the cell mm down into a, a, cor a bit 
I'm like, well, why do they all make that? Because Paddington's got one as well. Mm. And then there's like a Hell Skeleton, which made me laugh. Oh, what, sorry? The Hell Skeleton made me laugh. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, it's revealed, it's, going, it's the laundry shoe. It's going to the laundry room, yeah. So, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, um, they do the bit where they got the thing, they get all their clothes, they put stuff in the, um, the they go through the canteen, they, they steal the canteen, because, oh, that's it, because Paddington is the only one who can climb the clock pendulum. Oh, that's right, yeah, and he goes through <laughs> all the gears. Well, no, that's, I think, is a, um, allusion to Modern Life, the, um, Charlie Chaplin movie. Oh, right, okay. Where he actually gets caught in the gears. Oh, right, that was funny. That. <laughs> it was funny. So he, he comes up through the gears, <laughs> oof. <laughs> and then see the mini gears and he finds the key. Oh, that might be why, because what did you see when he come out? He had a little Charlie Chaplin no. moustache. Oh, maybe that, yeah, mate, I didn't know that. That's probably why. Oh, I didn't know it's attached. Yeah, because it was like um, a little bit of grease from the from the gears. Oh, I know he, he wiped wipes it off. I know he wipes. Yeah. Yeah, he had a little Chaplin moustache. Oh. oh, okay, that's a nice start. Didn't know that. Yeah, that was a, I didn't know it, so we, we're, nice, we're learning. Yeah, that was a nice little addition. Oh. Uh, that yeah. adds a new weight to that for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so they did the thing, he gets the key, they go down to the canteen, they see him, there's a bundle on one of the tables. And it's all, all the tables are all properly stacked away, like you see a cap at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. all, all the tables on the Everyone put your own chair away. Okay. <laughs> Most well behaved prison in the world. <laughs> <laughs> And so they, they they grab this bundle off one of the things, which turns out is a gas can uh, wrapped around. They've stitched a load of the gingham together. Yeah. <laughs> and basically, it's a balloon escape. So they're using the laundry basket as the basket, yeah. and, they, and they're then dropping they're off flour as ballast. Yeah. And then they obviously, yeah, all the stitched together gingham tablecloths as the hot air balloon. Which balloon. Is, I don't know if that'll work, but it was amazing. They had netting around it, so it was like, yeah. 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 It was it was and you genius. see the, the big guy looking out the window saying, Good luck, little bear. Yeah, yeah, he's reading a book called For Goodness Cake. Yeah, so <laughs> So good. Um, yeah, good luck, little bear. Get oh. Getcha. Yeah, Getcha. Yeah. Um, and then they land at some abandoned warehouse, the hot air balloon. Yeah. Um, and they go to some locked gate and they're trying, they're trying to unlock the gate. Because they've got a sequence where it's kind of been disturbing where they're all getting changed in the balloon. Yeah, yeah, yes. That could have gone wrong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, so right next to the bear's head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, all, they're all at this gate, and uh, what, what are we doing? Panic says, What are we doing? And, There's like a little you... plane there that we're, 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 we're leaving the country. You can't what? move and make marmalade. Yeah, um, um, Knuckles, I thought we were going to clear my name. Sorry, bear, change of plans. And the other two, to be fair, do look slightly like chagrined. Like, oh, yeah. So, all but Paddington, the three guys, Knuckles. Knuckles, Scribs and Spoon, I think mm. it was Scribs. All board the, the water plane, the plane that can land on water, which again plays a part later. Yeah. They, all, they all board the plane and they take off and Paddington is then alone and he finds a little um, phone box in, a, in an alleyway, calls the Brown fan. With his 50p with that his 50 he still has. <laughs> with his 50p covering in his earwax. Um, and he says, hello, it's Paddington. Just thought I'd let you know, I've broken out of prison. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm calling you, really. Just to... yeah. Say goodbye, you know, yeah. like he says about like they lied to me. Yeah. Um, guess I'm on the run now. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. Um, well, he doesn't say goodbye because he well, cuts no, cause off. Well, no, because it, yeah, he, got, he gets the pips, doesn't he? And then it cuts off. And then he's walking away, the light goes off of the, the phone box. I don't know away. if that's actually a thing, but I quite like it. I like that, yeah, it's a good little, nice little So basically, when someone's using the phone box, it lights up, and then when they stop yeah, using the, the phone box. the door closes, yeah, the, the light goes out. And then the light suddenly comes on, the, the phone, phone ringing, ringing yeah. and he goes back, hello? And then it's Mrs. Brown, and all the family start gathering around the phone in their house. Um, so they've gathered up all the clues because they, they um, oh. she did a thing in, in Buchanan's house where they found the details of this. Mm. Like all your dreams come true, like because they so they basically they've been he's been going to every landmark and the thing to get the letters. Yeah. Um, which should write someone in chalk, so at least it should wipe off easier. Mm. And then yeah, then Mrs. Brown discovers that yeah. where all your dreams come true is the slogan. Well, because it's on the back of the book. Yes. And it's like, oh, no, but then, so basically they, they work out that the steam, the train is going, it's on its way to Bristol. It's all, it's a, the fair is all packed up, ready to go. Mm. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, so they got a thing, you've got to go to Paddington. And I'm like, I won't get there in time. And then you see the, um, his friend. Mm. Oh, his bin man friend. Yeah. yeah. And so, it, hang on, I've got an idea. And so it goes, Big thing crashing across the line and excuse us, refuse emergency. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and they come to a screeching halt in the dust, <coughs> dust car outside of Paddington Station. 
rips off the um, twisty <laughs> top, bin. Top of the bin. Remember, Remember your bin. bin. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> sort of shuffling. Excuse me, I'm a bin, bin. just going for a walk. <laughs> and then a policeman comes up with his uh, whatever it was. A bit of donut. Yeah, right? I think it was a donut. Chucks the re remainder in a bin. Thank <clears> you. <throat> Thank you. Hmm? Don't worry, officer. I'm just a normal bin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming yeah, that bit though. donut. <laughs> I should hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, fresh. <laughs> Why did he throw it away? Oh, maybe he doesn't finish a donut. Just, I don't know, maybe maybe mm. he's a bit pulled. Uh, mm. But anyway, so you got, <laughs> so you got this, so you got this bin shuffling around, which is great. Yeah. And then he, we see Phoenix Buchanan in a bald a bald wig and uh, like a train yeah, like conductor's kind of thing, <clears throat> um, pushing a trolley full of stuff. He abandons the trolley, sort of does a little shifty look, and then boards the Kozlova's steam fare train. Mm. Um, and Paddington spots him. Which is really bright and colourful, and it's exactly yeah. what you'd expect that yeah. kind of train to be. like Russian old yeah. fashioned thing, yeah. yeah. And Paddington oh. spots him. Paddington then boards the train after Buchanan. Yeah. Um, and so I'm wondering where the, um, <clears throat> the, the fair people are. Hmm. Because <coughs> we do meet Madame Kosova, like the granddaughter, and she yeah. tells a story. story. So basically, the story is. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Her, her grandmother was the the granddam of the, the, the circus. She, she was, was like, the flying. famous gymnast. Yeah, the acrobat she doing all the um, rope stuff and mm. like the flying swan became because the, the magician was jealous of her riches because she you know yeah, she get tipped in jewels mm. kind of like they do in Moulin Rouge. Yeah. And all of those jewels she put into a crate, yeah. which then became the treasure that everyone is is well that Buchanan is looking for. Yeah, and of course it turns out that his <laughs> grandfather was the jealous magician. Yeah, exactly. So that's nice. So that's how we got the, the family connection, how he knows about it all. Yeah. But yeah, so um, they work out that he works out. Actually, a really good scene. I have to give it up to um, Hugh Grant for this, where he's doing um, the Macbeth and Poirot, and oh, yeah, the, it's the voice really is wonderful good. little character moments where he's switching yeah. between his two different, his different personas, yeah. which is really well done all the different really accents well. and stuff and given the fact <clears throat> the last one we saw was um <laughs> was a Poirot movie oh, yeah. yeah that was yeah, yeah that was no well, no obviously you got it was Poirot yeah I know. yeah take <laughs> note Mr Grant and um yeah <clears throat> and with Beth and all doing all the things yeah. so yeah doing the voices of all these characters was yeah. quite clever <clears throat> but no through that he's like ah oh, because like Beth is like oh they're just letters or what does it mean and Poirot's like ah oh, there's a me it is it is not just letters, it is musical notes. Yeah, musical notes, my oh. friend, yeah. And so, yeah, because <clears throat> there's a big, obviously the big Sting Morgan as part of the, <clears throat> the fair. Part of the fair, yeah. And so that's, that makes I've played puzzle games where that's kind of like, that kind of puzzle has been. Oh yeah, the musical notes thing. Yeah. yeah. So he finds the organ on the train, he's doing the thing, opens up this, the treasure's actually in there, preserved beautifully, mm. still shimmery shiny, mm -hmm. and then, um, Paddington, meanwhile, is on the train trying to find him, and because Paddington, I don't think Paddington is really aware of the treasure or cares about the treasure. He just wants the book back. Yeah, he just wants the book to give to So him he finds a couple of toffee apples, which he then uses as like suction cups to walk along the door of the train. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, um, and then he goes into a little hatch, doesn't he? When Hugh yeah. um, Buchanan finds the organ and he sort of opens the book, starts programming the the letters. Uh, and he opens and it up notes. and he's like, "Oh, my treasure!" And Paddington's like, "Oh, my book!" And he uses the yeah, pages. Uses the apple. <laughs> and the only reason I think Buchanan is chasing because he ends up pressing the button to close it back up hmm. and he can't remember he can't the sequence remember the yeah. so we, then we have a chase sequence on top of the train he's like it's a train where are you going it ends yeah yeah it's a fair point yeah. and he walked very cash across the top of that train yeah <laughs> meanwhile the family have found another stream train oh yeah that's and right. And my uh, name, J Dog. My name's not J Dog. I'm Jonathan. And I like steam trains. <laughs> he basically runs the steam train. He, yeah, he, he's he driving the steam train that they've essentially hijacked. They have. <laughs> but, and it has know. passengers as well. I know. Gertrude was his name? Oh, Ger yeah. Gerald, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Gerald, which is, turns out is the, 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 judge. The, the, the man in the barber slash judge. I mean, but the thing is, he says like about oh, all these stresses, all these bare related things. They were two months ago, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Get God. over it. <laughs> Enjoy your nice rail journey, it looks very nice. The food yeah. looks nice as well, that paddle yeah. over. Oh. Yeah, so they were like kind of first class and... Yeah. Gerald, calm down. Gertrude, don't tell me. Gerald, I'm telling you to calm <laughs> down. Yes, Gertrude. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I don't know who that lady was, but... Yeah, well done. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, first of all, it's... 
So basically, there's the cup, 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 pump the cup waste to them. We first we get splashed with the champagne when the train jerks one time. Yeah. Then the other time he gets his dessert, which is amazing. He's like, yeah, because he sees Paddington on the other rail in the other train, and he goes, hello, and he can't yeah. believe it. So he just oh, <laughs> passes out with his face in his dessert. So that, that was, they were cute little cut waste. Yeah. But yeah, so you get a chase sequence where one train's chasing the other, they start to slam it down, um, they all jump over. They do the um, joke where Hugh Grant, so back on top of the train, Hugh Grant's following him, and he goes, um, the line is usually exit pursued by a bear. And it's like, bear oh, exits, yes. <laughs> pursued by, pursued and then by. they open the thing, and he lands in a box of bears. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was fun. <laughs> and it's like... You know, oh, the cavalry, the the child, the old, you know, the insurance man, and the old lady, Mrs. Bird. You remember my name now. So he picks up a, a sword and he goes, level four stage um, fighting, which is believable. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, where I'm coming from, they t tell you never to bring a sword to a gunfight. <laughs> I think you'll find that's a dark gun. Boog! So, so it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from where I'm standing, this sword looks pretty sharp. <laughs> Cuts the Cuts plush toys. Goes, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so they're all kind of like, okay, get protect the child and you know have the chase on the train. So they've got a couple of different chases going on. So Paddington gets his. He's got his book. He's got his um. Because he's he's got his case with him. He's got his ladder in it. So he's like cranks himself out on the thing and it's it's Boeing. There's no way that physics would work, but it's fine. <clears throat> and he's like, jump, Paddington, jump. Because like mom's trying to get him and. He, he doesn't make it, Hugh Grant pulls him back in Yeah, because he's about to hit the tunnels um, So he hits the, Hugh Grant hits the release catch on the, the ladder yeah. Pull him back in um, he Grabs Paddington, grabs the book off him, throws him into a room mm. Locks it, puts a padlock on the door And then pulls out the thing, which I'm not sure it would be that easy to pull no, the pin no. On the coupling <laughs> in motion oh, No, probably not, but yeah, still you know, And then as he's going past, he whacks the switch track and um, mm. so Paddington's one carriage is now on a different track to yeah. everyone else which as it turns out is a dead end which of course leads into a um <laughs> over a bridge <clears throat> why does that exist unless it's a siding yeah possibly yeah but otherwise it's dangerous yeah so then paddington's car <coughs> then verges off the edge of the cliff into the water <laughs> massive splash sinks to the bottom of the lake or whatever it is. Uh, but at some point during this action we cut to the crims who are in the plane listening to the radio like oh four people have got away Hey! Nobody can find them. Hey! Yay. Except Paddington is now along. <sighs> yeah. We should go back to get him. No. Yeah. No. So that happens. I don't do nothing for no one for nothing. Yeah. The true of a double negative. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so then got the big tra dramatic Tracy. He's now, which will be the third film in a row where we've, well not in a row, but like dramatic underwater character. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a theme. It is. So Paddington's in the carriage which is underwater, he's got some air, but obviously that's kind of... There's a gap of about that much with a big chain, chunky chain. Well that's after she there. comes, yeah. So mum swims down open because, you know, she's been training. She's been so training, she does a little dive into Although the, I still uh, think she should have taken the, her shoes off. Yeah, she, well they would have come off anyway, wouldn't they? So yeah. uh, take them off and preserve them. Yeah, yeah. So, um, um, she dives, swims over to the car, the car where Paddington... She tries to pull the thing open and then that's when he realizes, oh, it, the door's still chained. I mean, it's kind of, I guess it's a flashback to the beginning of the film, but they didn't do the flashback, no. so let's remember. And then you see the shadow of the plane that the three, <laughs> the three guys are in land and then you just hear Knuckles, come on lads! <laughs> <laughs> So they, they all, they all jump in, they all pulling, pulling yeah. it, pulling it, because they apart from the, the skinny guy, they're pretty beefy. Yeah, they're big, but I mean, Knuckles are like nine foot tall. And uh, uh, wait and things change underwater anyway. Yeah, yeah, true. So they, they've managed to pull the weak link, there, everyone swims over, <gasps> he's burning up! Mm. Cuts to, we better get him to bed. Yeah. Oh, this little guy's going to be alright. Yeah. Cut to the next scene of Paddington in bed, three days later it turns out. And um, so basically what happened, there was a running gag with Mr. Brown being a crack shot on the um, coconut shy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so he so he clocks Hugh Grant with a, a ball and he's like, oh, dink. Mm. So they caught Hugh Grant. Yeah, that's how they caught, they caught Buchanan. Mm. Um, and they break the news to Paddington. How long have I been asleep for? Three days. Oh, you know what that means? Yes, it's Aunt Lucy's birthday today, Paddington. Um, don't worry, they've they've caught Buchanan, and uh, the three other guys were. Um, they were they were pardoned. We'll find pardoned. that out in the credits. Yeah. Um, and uh, 
I said, well, well I'm, I didn't get Aunt Lucy anything for her birthday. I just get the thing, I'm such a failure. Well, I didn't want to, I wanted to be proud of me. Mm, well, don't worry about that, Pax. I'm sure she will be. Come downstairs. And then there was a sequence that totally did not make me cry. You can't prove anything. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and you just see they come down the stairs. All of the residents of the street are all in the... Uh, in the hallway. In the hallway of, of the Brown House. Yeah, Ben and Jessica are like, we found each other. Yeah, yeah. we found each other thanks to you, Paddington. And uh, Bin Man passed his... Yay! Um, thing so his little lanyard of his little cab driver that was great yeah um, and yeah everyone was just really really happy oh yeah and uh, sandy Capaldi Bascar. wasn't in there no you know well no he wasn't he was probably at home fuming no, if it wasn't for you i'd always be locked out of my house <laughs> yeah, yeah i would always be locked out of my house and everyone like, laughed and oh it was lovely um but, and what am i yeah i still haven't got anything for aunt lucy and then mrs brown kneels down beside paddington and says um Oh, what did she say to him? You, you wanted her to see oh, London. Yeah, you wanted her to see. Uh, you wanted Aunt Lucy to see London. Well, what's? Well, now she doesn't have to do it in a book. She can do it for real. Well, what do you mean, Mrs. Brown? Ding well, dong. They all, <laughs> the, and they all chip together and yeah, buy her a plane ticket. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, oh, why don't you go and answer that, Paddington? <laughs> And he turns around and they've all like lined both sides of the hallway <laughs> leading to the door and totally didn't cry piano light piano music and uh, opens the front door and it's aunt lucy yeah, happy. and then they, they hug and he just oh. paddies and he goes happy birthday aunt lucy oh my god <laughs> oh my god and then you, that's it fade you to didn't black. cry either did you no shut up <laughs> <laughs> um and it fades to black and that, that's it and then that's we get the wonderful Wonderful end credits. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no we oh no no that's no, in the credits. The credit, wasn't it? Was it the credits or the bit? Was it was it in the bit? I think there was a bit, wasn't there? Yeah, there was credits oh, and then the bit. Credit and then the bit of the, <coughs> the judge the judge sentencing Buchanan. So basically the 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 um the the pre bit credits is like a, a my scrapbook. Yeah, my scrapbook showing all like the, the prisoners have been pardoned, the three that helped Paddington. He got his own he's got his restaurant his he own, got little, his own tea little, shop. little tea shop. Um yeah. they went to see like um they were really bad puns. Macbeth. Oh, Macbeth, yeah. Uh, and like yeah. another couple of, another bear pun. Mm. Um, but yeah, got Aunt Lucy seeing all the sights in London. Yeah. And um, yeah, so they got so they're basically telling the story through like because it's a school newspaper, so mm. it's the, through the school newspaper headlines. Yeah. Um, Mr. Brown did get his promotion in the end. Oh yeah, Mr. Brown got his promotion to the, in, in the head of risk analysis. <laughs> Which is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Good for him. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we see. Buchanan getting sentenced for for his involvement um, <laughs> by the Mr. Barber yeah. judge man Gerald yeah Gerald yeah, Barber um, and he, he gets he gets ten years doesn't he he says I should you shall use your I hope you use your time in prison to uh, to reflect yeah and improve and yeah and, and improve yourself and he goes I certainly will. <laughs> Smash cut six months later. Six months later. <laughs> which they've still got pink uniforms. Yeah, I know. They, they're keeping them. They love, <laughs> love those uniforms. Um, and it's a whole song and dance yeah. sequence. <laughs> but you got actually... Because you... You're...